Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing our series of um, videos, education, inspiration, uh, information, guidance, advice, and I want to tell uh, one last story about uh, Rabbi Sroil of Rijin, a very holy man. In his old age, Rabbi Sroil of Rijin, spent his summers in the little town of Potok. Once, Rabbi Moshe of Kobrin visited him. It was a Sabbath, it was Shabbos. And um, that day, Rabbi Sroel, he did not eat the Shalash Shudas meal. It was the third meal toward the end of the, uh, the afternoon, an unusual time. It's, it's too late for lunch, it's too early for supper. It's specifically, the Shalashu, this meal, is, um, is at a particular time. This day, Rabbi Israel uh, didn't eat. Didn't eat. It's, uh, it's a meal that you usually have with bread. It's a proper meal. He didn't eat. He sat in his garden. It's late afternoon getting toward evening. The rabbi of Kubrin kept him company. And uh, for a long time, for a long time, Rabbi Yisrael just uh, sat silent. And he said, we could eat uh, the fruits of this tree in place of the Charles to this meal. Could we not? I'm sure this meal is usually with bread, but if you have to, you can do it with fruit. This is the halacha. He touched Rabbi of Kubrin's belt, his gartel, and said, let's take a little walk. The old Rabbi Sroel, the Rabbi of Kubrin, walked. And as they walked, he repeated what he said before. He goes, dear Rabbi Moshe, you're a Talmud Chacham, you're a, you're, a, you're a scholar, you're a, a learned man. Is it not true that we are permitted to replace the meal, that Shalos Yudis meal on Shabbos, to replace it with fruit? He kept saying it over and over again. The Rabbi of Kubrin understood that the holy Rabbi Israel of Rijin was speaking of his own end and of his sons. The Rabbi Kubrin cried out, Holy Rabbi, the world still has need of you. He kept saying, the world still needs you. You can't go. The world needs you. Not long after that, I think it was about maybe five or six week, weeks later, a month and a half, uh, after this particular Shabbos, um, the Holy Rabbi Yisroel of Rijin uh, passed away. And uh, his neshama was gathered up to the Creator. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. We're going to be going into... Uh, uh, the later masters of the Hasidic period. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.